Hey kids, it's day four. As we journey to Easter, day four we have an orange egg. And I'm gonna be reading to you from the book of Mark, and I'm gonna be reading chapter 14, verses 32 through 34. Okay, the sun's a little bright, but it's beautiful outside today. Okay, you ready? It says, they went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. So Jesus actually takes some of his closest friends, Peter, James, and John, and he takes them to a place. You've probably heard it called the Garden of Gethsemane. It's hard to say. And he says, and these are in red, so Jesus said to them, sit here while I pray. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch. So what do you think is in our orange egg? Let's look. <gasps> praying hands, praying hands. We have praying hands, don't we? Look, so over these next few days, today, I, I ask you to pray. We can do that. We, God wants us to talk to him, just like Jesus actually prayed to his heavenly Father. We pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so pray for your family, pray for your schools, pray for your community, pray for the hospitals, the doctors in the hospitals, pray that the sickness goes away, pray that everyone stays healthy. There's things that we can pray to ask for help, and there's things that we can pray that say thank you. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my family. Thank you for this beautiful sunshine out here today. Thank you for keeping me healthy and my family healthy. Thank you for the doctors and the nurses that are available. Thank you to Florence Church for giving us other ways to worship outside of the church building. There's so much to be thankful for, even in the midst of things that might be looking bad from a certain angle. So let's pray to God. Let's thank him for all the things that he's doing for us. And then it's okay for us to be troubled and sorrowful sometimes, but he asks us to give that over to him and then he takes that burden away to where we shouldn't be troubled, okay? So happy Easter. We're journeying through Easter Sunday. Come back tomorrow for day five and I hope you all have a great rest of the day. And day five, that egg will be green. There's something in there, but it's not quite as heavy as the others have been. So we'll see what holds day five. Thank you. Bye.